I built some temporary support with some one inch square stock. I went from A pillar to A pillar, welding everything into place and supporting it off the frame rails. Since I'm going to be taking the lower support brackets off and this is all going to lead into removing the inner rocker panels as well. With so much structural components taken out, I don't want to take a chance on anything moving. I'm going to try to stay focused on just removing this foot well or this section of the floor pan first. The floor pan and the inner rocker panel and the outer rocker panel are all tied together so one thing kind of leads into the other. But this video is going to focus mainly on the floor pan. So real quick, here's how they tie together. This is the outer rocker panel. Comes up and rolls in right here and becomes the door seal but technically this is still the outer rocker panel so here's the rocker panel underneath rolls down and this flange right here is spot welded to the inner rocker panel the inner rocker panel is right here and here's the inner rocker panel from underneath the car here's where the outer rocker panel comes down uh, rolls inward and flanges down and this is the flange area of the inner rocker panel where the two are spot welded together and then the inner rocker panel spot welds to, to the flange of this body mount flange on each side here and right here where they're spot welded together and you can see right here that the inner rocker panel is not in very good condition from here back has a has some rot from here forward is not in too bad a condition and then right here is the where the inner rocker panel goes up and right here it flanges outward and this is your floor pan your floor pan comes over and covers that flange and is spot welded to the flange and the flange is located directly below this channel that's formed in the floor pan and it goes all the way up underneath the lower support bracket for the A pillar so here you can see again the, where the floor pan comes over and covers the flange and then rolls up and then the outer rocker panel comes in forming the door seal comes over flanges up and it's spot welded right here so you got spot welds here connecting the floor pan to the outer rocker and then spot welds in this channel connecting the floor pan to the inner rocker so the inner rocker panel is not connected to the outer rocker panel on the top side only on the bottom So I'll try to stay focused on just removing the floor pan, but you can see the way they're all tied together. So this flange where the floor pan is connected to the outer rocker ends right in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to locate and break loose or drill out the spot wells that are in this flange. And I want to try to salvage the flange on the outer rocker panel because it's going to be my reference point on where to bring the floor pan over to. This, so this uh, flange right here is important to me to leave it as much intact as possible. So when I drill these spot wells out, I'm going to try to drill from this side so that I save this side of the flange. And when I tried to run the disc sander down this flange to locate the indentations of the spot wells it's very deteriorated on the inside so I couldn't locate them so I'm going to do something a little different I'm going to use a wood chisel instead of a cold chisel because I'm going to put this beveled side against the inner flange that I want to peel away and the flat side against the outer flange that I'm trying to save as much as possible and so I use the sharpness of the chisel to separate the flanges.
until I come to a hard spot like that and then I know there's a spot weld right there. Sometimes that pilot bit gives you enough to break the spot weld. So see I didn't even have to drill that spot weld. And then I just continue on. Until I come to another hard spot. That one wouldn't break, so I'll drill it out.
So you get the idea. Just keep plugging away at it. And breaking the spot wells isn't that big of a deal. Some of them, the pilot drill bit will be enough to break them loose. Others, you have to use the spot well bit. The biggest issue you run into is when you come into an obstacle like this and you have to remove some things or cut some things out of your way. Now, this flange, I believe, well, it does go further. It does go up underneath this lower support bracket for the A pillar. So I'll have to remove this bracket now to get to the rest of this flange. So here's the door jam, A pillar. Got this little jam extension right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I probably should have already done it just to keep from damaging it. It's held in by five screws. The first one's right here. That's normally covered by the, the, the door seal. And then back here, there's one down low. There's another screw in the back halfway up. And then there's another screw up here. The extension sort of ends right in here, but this channel for the weather strip that's part of the jam extension continues on and it goes all the way up to this area right here. And there's a little metal tab here with another screw. So you gotta be sure and get that screw. If you try pulling this out, you'll damage it. And the only way to get to this screw is to remove this piece of garnish molding right here. That's what that little ear looks like. It's kind of like a Chinese puzzle getting it out of there. Alright, so I made another lower support bracket in uh, part two of the floor pan videos. So since I've got a new one now, it's okay to take this bracket out. I'm not going to take it out yet. A little bit more involved here. I've gone ahead and removed the inner rocker panel because the floor pan spot welds to the inner rocker panel. So since I had cut the, those spot welds loose, I figured I'd go ahead and remove the inner rocker panel, which I do in part three of the floor pan videos. But I think before I take this bracket out, I'm gonna go ahead and make a part five video where I replace the inner rocker panel first. And incidentally, there is a part four to the floor pan videos where I make the end cap for the um, rocker panels. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So at this point, I'm ready to install the inner rocker panel. I just have to clean some of the surfaces a little bit more where it's going to get plug welded into place. And once I get the inner rocker installed, then I'm going to come back and I'll finally remove this lower support bracket for the A pillar. And once it's out, I can start on the passenger side footwell on this floor pan. So that's it for this video now.